Hey guys, it's Jake here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Hopkins seven and four pole wiring kit, and we're gonna be installing it on our 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. Our wiring kit that we installed on our vehicle did come with a seven pole, but the owner of our vehicle wants a four pole and a seven pole. Um, this kit that we have here is going to replace any adapter that you might have to carry. Uh, a lot of those will get lost in your car or someone will ask to borrow it and you'll never get it back. Um, but this is gonna have a four pole on one end and your seven way on the other. This connector is going to plug in straight to your seven pole wiring. Now, if you don't have seven pole wiring, our vehicle here was pre-wired for the tow package. So it just has a plug pre-wired behind the bumper here. And then all we had to do was we decided to go with a Kurt wiring kit that just plugs and plays. You plug it in, run it over, and we can connect this new connector on the end. Now, if you don't have the factory tow package, um, you're gonna have to install the ETBC7 kit that we have to be able to get your seven pole function back to the back of your vehicle. Now, my personal opinion of this plug is that I think it's gonna look really good on the Traverse. There's more than enough space to be able to put it back behind here and still be able to get your safety chain loops in here um, to safely tow a trailer. This, um, the, the way that we mounted this um, does fit perfectly behind this bumper cover. So if they ever did want to hide everything behind here, they could in the future if they're not towing. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how to get it in place. So to get it installed, the hitch that we have on our Traverse uh, does have a bracket. It's the draw tight two inch hitch receiver. And we kind of lined it up. The holes do line up, uh, but we are the way that we're mounting it so that we can get this panel back on. We're gonna flip it around, take our plug, clip it into place, and we're gonna slide it over as far as we can to get it away from the safety chain loop so that we can still slide a uh, chain loop in there and line up this hole with the second hole on our tab. And then we're gonna to have to mark a hole here and drill through our plate so that we can mount it over a little bit. Here you can see the hole we drilled, and it lines up perfectly with the two pre-drilled holes in our frame bracket. If your frame bracket does not come on your hitch, um, you can use the self-tappers that come in the kit. Um, but since ours did, uh, we're gonna, we picked up some more hardware that we're gonna use to install it. So we'll start with a, uh, we just picked out some smaller bolts we're gonna put them up through because we don't want the extra bolt feeding down through, interfering with our plug. And we'll hold it up to our bracket. We'll do a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. And with the bracket all secured, all we have to do is take our wiring and connect it to our plug. Just want to hear that click and then it's going to have these two tabs on it which will hold it inside the bracket nice safe and secure push it back into place so you hear those clicks and now we can test it out we'll start out with our running lights our brake lights our left turn and our right turn as you can see, our 12 volt line is always going to be lit up. So all in all, the installation is not going to be too bad. Um, the kit should plug right into your existing seven pole or the new kit that you just installed. But with all that being said, that's going to do it for a look at an installation of the Hopkins seven and four pole wiring plug on our 2018 Chevrolet Traverse.